This video is brought to you by Stockagogo.com Stock Photos. You're watching USA, America's All Entertainment Network. He fought in Nam. Now he fights in America. I don't want your sympathy. I don't need it. The war is over. The nightmare remains. It's all over. You're not in Nam. Don Johnson. Cease fire. Tomorrow at 9, 8 Central on USA. An update on taking a cruise coming up next. The Wall Street Journal Consumer Update with William Bruce, brought to you by Centel, the company where people connect. Good evening, everyone. More people are spending their vacations on the high seas. Cruise lines say business has been growing as much as 14% in recent years. The hot cruise this year is to Europe, partly because it offers a way to avoid worries about the weak dollar. Still, cruise lines are concerned that too many ships are being built, but don't expect any great bargains soon. To hold their prices steady, cruise lines are marketing more aggressively and even cutting profits. With only 5% of all American adults having taken a cruise, they feel there are a lot of consumers they can still reach. For The Wall Street Journal, I'm William Bruce. Thanks for joining us, and good night. The preceding brought to you by Centel, the company where people connect. What scares the modern master of the macabre? Find out in Stephen King's World of Horror, next on USA. Airwolf will not be seen tonight, so that we may bring you the following USA special presentation, Stephen King's World of Horror, next. The following is a USA special presentation.